Thank you very much. And we'll now move on to Ben Harris Quinney for his opening statement. Thank you very much for having me. Um, I've been doing a lot of these debates recently, and I, um, I really like doing them on campuses because I like to pretend it wasn't a decade uh, since I was at university myself, and I still completely blend in with the student body, obviously. Um, but the other reason is that it is for students and young people that this is the question, really. Um, it, it's your lives that, that are at stake. and. Um, I think the context of this debate, which I'm sure you've picked up in the media, is, is really grassroots versus the establishment. And to some extent, haves versus have-nots. And unfortunately, um, for your generation, to some extent for my generation, the generations that, that come after you, increasingly young people fall into the have-not side of that equation. And so the in-campaign will tell you you can't risk your bright futures by staying in the European Union. And I say you should be asking, what bright futures? Your parents might be paying a lot of your expenses at the moment, but when you come to buy a house, you'll realize just how much the scales are tipped against you and in the favor of, of your parents' generation. The future for this generation is not as bright as it could be and as it should be. And the one big, big chance that you have to make a change is to vote for Britain to leave the European Union and take control of your own destinies. And so it's really important that you don't just listen to us tonight, but you also go away and do your own research. You find out that we are a net contributor to the European Union, that we pay £350 million a week into the EU, that there are upwards of 300,000 people coming into this country each year uh, from the European Union, an area that has a youth unemployment rate of 22%, and they're going to be competing with you for jobs. And it's not in any way xenophobic or racist to want to be able to control our own borders or our own destiny. It's a question of being able to make that decision for ourselves, for yourself. And I'm a believer that democracy is best when it is at the most local level. And so I really hope for your sake, more than my sake, or for anyone else's sake in the country, that you do the research, that you listen very carefully, and you understand. 10 seconds. You haven't had this, we haven't had this chance as a country for 40 years to vote on this referendum. This probably won't come again in your lifetimes. This is really your chance to change your destiny. And I believe very firmly that Britain is better off controlling its own borders, having a say in its own destiny, and setting our own course in the world. Thank you. 